I will cure you. Well, 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 Garth Brooks. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> Keep us, we about to do some talking. <laughs> Let's check it out. Shout out to the Hodge twins for providing this video because I could not find it. Um, and then we're going to go into the article. So let's get to it. Mm -mm -mm. Garthy, Garth, Garth, Garth. Mm -hmm. Garthy, Garth, Garth, Garth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we are. Hello, how are you? Hope your day is going well. Oh, it's probably going better than Garth's, though. That's for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I just got to get myself really situated here. The reason I think is not wanting to cooperate. But we'll work with what we got. Okay. Garth Brooks. I want it to be a place you feel safe in. I want it to be a place that you feel like there are manners and people love one another. Uh, you know, I, I, I think that's the cool place. It's everywhere, though. Yeah, exactly. But well, here we go. <laughs> and yes, we're going to serve every brand of beer. <laughs> we are. God and bless you. <laughs> we just God are. It's, bless it's you. not our decision. She knew to make. it was over. Our thing is this if you come into this house, love one another. If you're an asshole, there are plenty of other places on Lower Broadway to go. Thank you, Hodge Twins. <laughs> so, Garth Brook. Garth Brook. I think she... It sounded like she was saying, God bless you, like, <coughs> oh, it's over. <laughs> as soon as he's like, unless, you know, we're going to serve every kind of beer. And she's like, God bless you. Hey, but, Rocco, it's over. <laughs> this is going out of brand. I mean, out of business. And did it go out of business? Let's see how well Mr. Garth Brooks did. Let's see. Um, I got a little thing here for you guys. I wanted y'all to see. Oh, Maria. Oh, Maria. Sorry, I'm just kind of feeling that song right now, mate. Hmm. Okay, let me bring this back up for you guys. Actually, let me bring it up right here. So, pretty much what happened. <laughs> It's a pretty sad sight to see, to be honest with you. Um, he really thought that, that this was the plan and it was just going to work out uh, to his perfection. And little did he know. Nope. Let's check it out. Okay. Garth Brooks has made a huge mistake when he called a majority of the beer drinkers assholes the promised boycott of this newly branded um but yet um but yet to open bar in nashville has already cost him huge three investors with a massive stake in the venture pulled out telling garth that he had to he had spoiled the project brooks was forced to cancel his grand opening and considered his options well so there's a lot of ads here uh He'll probably have to pay into some special interest groups and hope there are enough weirdos in Nashville to sustain it, said Joe Barn, 
chief um, investment counselor for them and Witty. Personally, I don't think there are enough drag queens and trans people within a 300 uh, mile radius to pull off. Once again, a woke leftist is without a business because he thought 0.07% of the population was a solid base. A spokesman for Brooks uh, told a load, I see that's what it said, or A-L-L-O-D, uh, comments, skip, I don't know how to say that, that he wasn't really concerned with the hype for the boycotts. Garth wouldn't care if it turns out to be a gay bar, says Skip. He, he says they tend to order more expensive drinks anyway. The premise that any bar would predicate itself on its future on what brands of cultists, uh, pseudo patriots want is pretty dumb, said a guy we interviewed outside at the bar. Do you have any spare change? God bless America. <sighs> so, <laughs> Garth. Garth, 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 Garth. It was kind of foolish to go about that. He had to cancel the whole bar opening because the investors pulled out. And I, I don't really understand why he did it. Because why would you cater to that demographic? The fact is, he could have maybe even got away with it. If he hadn't they said, we're going to serve all beers, he did, He had He had to get on that high horse. He had to get on that, that soap opera box. He, he could have easily just said, yeah, I'm opening up a new bar and uh, we're just going to um, we're going to be having some fun in there. You know, we're just um, trying to have a good old time with people. And uh, I hope to see you down there. Thank you guys for all your support. And I hope to see you there. Nope, couldn't do it. He had to go. We're going to serve every kind of beer there. And if you don't like it, we're not there to serve. Pretty much. He says we're not there to serve assholes. So we don't want to serve people that think that <laughs> that want to protect children. Because the whole reason that people see people didn't go after Bud Light because of the LGBT. They went after Bud Light because of Dylan Mulvaney. And Dylan Mulvaney said that he was okay with there being surgery on children. That was the premise. That was the premise. The premise was not LGBT. The premise was them using Dylan to do all of this, who said that he was okay with kids getting transgender surgery. That is the problem, Garth. Why would you call people who said, please don't do this to the kids? Why would you call them assholes? Your words, not mine. Why would you say that? That's where you screwed up. And that's why investors are like, you bo you bonehead. You're telling people that we're trying to protect children that they're assholes and that the people who want this, you're pretty much saying the people who don't want us to do stuff to kids are assholes, but the people who do want to do stuff to kids, they're perfectly normal and acceptable people. You don't think, do you, Garthy? <laughs> you don't think. Um, listen, we all make mistakes in this life. We all stand up for something that's stupid. Eventually. Okay. I've stood on some principles. Nothing like this. <laughs> I've never stood on no principles of doing anything with the kids. Never do nothing. Leave the dang kids alone, man. Please just let the kids grow up. Play at the playground. Learn life. Stop manipulating them. I've never stood on anything like that. But if I, if I stood on something and pushed it into the ground without thinking about it, yeah. But Garth, you're a little older than me, man. Um, you kind of should have seen that coming. Like, did you not see what's happening to the other companies? Listen, I'm not, I'm not saying that every company that goes woke goes broke. But I am trying to say that it's not even about going woke. It's about making people do stuff, pushing it in their face, especially especially if you push children into it. That is where the line is about to start getting drawn for everybody who's deciding to go this route. If there's a kid involved, yeah, that line's about to get right cut down the middle. You about to be on one side or the other. Same thing with the pride parades. The same thing we're seeing. Um, uh, to, uh, what we saw with uh, this um, right here. Same thing we saw with Bud Light. Same thing we saw with Target. It's just kind of like, ah, we gotta, we just gotta just slow down. And even what we saw what happened at the White House, the video I just made not too long ago, the video seeing somebody pull out their breasts in the white, front of the White House. The only trans person to ever get banned. Only trans people there. To only ever get banned from the White House. She should have paid attention. People are starting to draw a line like, listen, you're going to keep your LGBT. Because people are like, LGBT, y'all aren't God. Okay? If we can't have God in the churches, I mean God in the schools, we can't pray, we can't this. We dang sure not going to let y'all do nothing. If we want to just be in the middle, have a gray area, no crosses, nothing. Well, if that's the way it's going to be, then y'all don't get to do stuff either. Y'all don't get to get all of this and all of that. Y'all don't get to get put above everything and anyone and everyone. That's not fair. Because 
first of all, like we said, once again, LGBT does not make up the majority of the population, especially if you want to go down to trans. It really doesn't make up even close to the community. People, you if you try to pander to that small percentage of people and think that that's going to run your business, you're going to go out of business, buddy. Sorry. Because even think about this. The only trans people you're thinking about that would even try to support your blood light are people who are extreme trans. Not people who are really have a mental illness and really trying to figure life out and trying to figure out why they hate their body or why this or why that. No, you're thinking about the trans people who come out and say, I'm trans. You will call me a man. You will call me a woman. You're thinking about those trans. And that population is even smaller than the normal transgender population. The ones that are struggling and trying to figure everything out and trying to go through life and maybe have to go this way or that way. Not the ones that are going to therapy or the ones that are really talking to people. You're trying to go for the people who are just completely extreme. And that, that's, that circle, Garth, it's small. Very small, Garth. Not a whole lot to see. Fox News did the same thing. Decided to make their employees bow down. You know what I really think this is about? And I could be completely wrong. Maybe. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. But I'm just to the point where I start to believe, kind of, that this is less about getting to the LGBT and more about making people do stuff. More like you want to control people. You're saying you will accept this and you will accept it and love it. It's like to the point where it's like you, it's pretty much telling us, I don't care what your beliefs are. I don't care how you feel. You are going to love the LGBT. You're going to do what we say. You're going to use the pronouns or it's over for you. And the American people are saying, uh -uh, I'm tired. Fine, I'll lose my job. I don't give a fluff. I will boycott. I don't need to drink that beer. I'll forget it. I don't need to go to Target. There's other stores in the world. I'll forget it. I don't need to buy nothing from Starbucks. I, we, we'll do whatever we got to do. Because people, this is the problem, guys. It doesn't matter what happens. This America has its flaws. Every country does. And I'm not going to sit here. I have flaws. I mean, I'm an American citizen. And I have flaws. I'm certain there's certain, certain things I believe that are pretty flawed as far as the, being a patriot. But at, at the same time, okay, America has been known that if you switch on the people, if you turn your back on the people here, there's only going to go two ways. Either we're going to conform or we're going to, or we going to, it's going to get ugly. Just like when it happened with the mask and keeping all our people inside, we were cool at first. And then we started thinking for ourselves and then like, hold on a second. And then that, now with the LGBT, this has been going on what, 40 years now. At first we were cool, but then the kids started getting trickled in. And then they started getting a little bit too sexual. And then a lot of things, they start telling us what to do. And then they start saying, you got to call us he, her. You got to call, you got to call us Z, Zier. You got to call us what we tell you to call us. And this is when the people started going, now hold, now hold on a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened to a little bit of freedom? That don't sound like freedom. I can't say anything. If I misgender you, I'm screwed. No, 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 no. Can't go for that. And that's where we are now. When somebody goes, oh, well, somebody who just turned into a woman less than 200 days into it, they're already at the White House telling us to put surgery on kids. When you could have picked so many people to go to the White House and you pick this random person who got famous on TikTok, that's who you're going to go with? Mm, do, 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 does it sound like these guys really got credibility? They picked somebody from TikTok. That's what's so crazy. I understand you can make a lot of money from TikTok. But TikTok famous and TikTok values are not the same as outside of TikTok is its own bubble of people. Let's be honest. Okay. Being TikTok famous, I'm just going to be honest. Being TikTok famous to me means you're famous with children. I don't know a whole lot of adults that if I named a TikToker, they would know who I was talking about. You can name me almost any TikToker and I'd be like, who the F is that? It's a whole different fame. And that's what we've came. That's what they're trying to get us to do. They're trying to bring up people who are so, so small and may, and then take that person because of their popularity and then try to get the American people to side and switch and flip and do what they want to. Like we're freaking circus animals bouncing around like, yeah, we'll do what you want us to do. Yeah. Do you want us to drink that beer? Of course. You want us to go to Target and put things on my children? Yeah. You want me to get surgery that's going to ruin my kid's life? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. And then you know what? They're going to get on Twitter and say, and if you go against them, they're going to get on Twitter. Wow. Ugh, hurts my heart. Going to get on Twitter and be like, ah, this guy's a freak. Oh, this guy is this. I can't believe we have such hateful killers. We already saw. If y'all didn't watch my interview that I just posted, go watch that. Because that's the same thing they were saying. 
about mocking Jesus and the, the uh, sisters of indulgence saying, oh, uh, God is th they're shooting us and killing us. Even if you, if you just disagree, they immediately go to, well, we're dying in the streets. Are you? I do not see trans people dying in mass in the streets. There's not a lot of y'all to die. And two, we're, just, we're not killing them in mass. We're not walking out and going, oh, there's a trans. Pow! Then you'd have a point. Then you'd have a point. But it's actually the opposite. It feels like, you know, I ain't going to go there. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. Did guards have it right? Did guards have it wrong? Hmm. Are they trying to get us to conform to something? Let me know. Peace.